My buddy Bobo, that's nice. Oh yeah. There nice. We go. Nice fish. It's an eight and a half inch bluegill you know, there. Oh yeah. Well, how's it going, folks? Sitting back in the shop tonight after a fun late afternoon evening with my buddy Potter out on Lake Winnebago chasing bluegills. Uh, we did something a little bit different in this video. Um, something Potter introduced me to actually just this year, and I've definitely noticed more and more guys using these. Um, so I know the rods have been around a long time, so maybe it's something that's coming back into play. I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you what, after doing this just a few times, it is an absolute hoot catching these bluegills on these long rods. Uh, we were using a 54 inch pulsator, um, not sponsored by them. Uh, it's just the rod brand that Potter believes in and I can see why, because uh, I know he does this uh, long rod thing a ton. You can get them at Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle down in Delafield. Um, you can order them online as well. Awesome bait shop, check them out, go online. Uh, this is a 54 inch rod that we were using. We're a little bit taller, Potter and I. So this length rod suits our needs a little bit better as far as hole hopping, but they do make shorter sizes as well, which is great. Uh, but they're pretty simple. Inline rod, inline reel, spring bobber down on the end. And uh, yeah, what an absolute blast catching the bluegills through the ice on these things. So, and you'll see that in the video. Um, but yeah, thank you Corey and Don at Fishtails and Oshkosh. Stop in to see those guys to get all your bait, tackle, custom painted stuff. Uh, right on County Road A, um, yeah, th open 365 days a year at 5 a.m. So thank you again, Corey and Don, for always being there, always being open. We appreciate you guys. Uh, but enjoy the video. Thank you, Potter, for introducing me to this way of catching panfish, bluegills, with these rods. It has been an absolute blast. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. I know it takes a few seconds. Um, and I'll also link all the products and contact info in the description on YouTube uh, as far as phone numbers, web addresses, everything like that. So enjoy the video. Me and Potter back on Lake Winnebago chasing big bluegills. And until next time on the ice, tight lines. There's a dandy. Nice fish, buddy. Nice bluegill. What kind of rod are you using there, buddy? Oh, this is a pulsator long rod. It's 54 inches. It's a great rod for hole hopping. Keeps you away from the hole, so like in clear ice, if it's sunny, you don't throw the shadow down. Um, and just for mobility, you just move from hole to hole. Usually don't use a Vexlar, you can. Yeah, those long rods are a lot of fun to fish with. Yeah, and they're fun. Those big bluegills, when they start digging, it's they don't want to come out of that hole and you don't have like a drag system, so it's all the rod. It's just, they're a blast to fish with. You're something else. Are you marking anything? Yeah. Holy cow, Butterburns gets it done, kinda. Ah, marginal one. Yeah, nice. Dead. Eh, seven and a quarter. Yep. Show them what jig you're using. It's a special one. That is it's purple, purple and green. With green dots. Silver on the back. Black for your tackle. Potter special. I don't have a name for that one yet, but I think we'll call it like the Joker or something. There you go. Unless you folks out there have a better name for it. Purple and green dots. Green dots. Is there a bog or a fungus that looks like that? <laughs> hmm. Fungus. So today is Bernsey's second day trying the long rod. His buddy Potter was nice enough to get him one for late Christmas birthday for the next rest of his life right the much. one gift he'll ever get for me pretty much Film. no he doesn't always catch fish are you kidding me <laughs> why oh there's a tank get him no it's not even that big is it no, it's marginal. Woo, that's a nice fish yeah seven and a half i'd eat him 
Oh yeah. Not today. Nice fish. Good job, Burns. There it is. That's a nice one. Yep. That's a tank right there. Size nice that fish. Thing. No, I'm staying up here. Nice. See you, buddy. After that last video with the potters misses, I told him I'm gonna. I want to edit this video because I want to put his misses. So in. it should be up in about 2026. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're giving me cred. <laughs> right? That looks like a good one. Yeah, well, that's a decent one. Pretty good one. Is that a giant? Probably a seven, seven and a half or so. It's a nice fish. For anybody that questions the size of the fish, Bernsey's like six foot four and potter's like six foot two we got big hands oh yeah it's recording too just so you know right. i'll edit it all out i know you will i'm, I'm just having fun with it now i hope i don't drop this down the hole <laughs> Allegedly. More of that six six inches there. Oh, a good one. It's a decent. They're just a blast of fish. I would agree. Maybe we'll get another nice compilation of Potter misses for this video too. Oh, 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 oh listen here. <laughs> Well, you know that's going on the video. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just two feet away. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, there's a fish coming. Tanker. Nice one. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. That ain't a dinker. That's a nice one. Mm-hmm. Go down the hole. Thank you. See, they listen. Mm-hmm. About a seven and a half. Yep. Not a giant, but boy, he didn't want to come out of the hole. that down the hole <laughs> show them that nice lanyard you got now hey look at this nice new spreader i got <laughs> thank you bone <laughs> they'll probably end up right wait what did you want me there. to show oh yeah this ain't gonna go down the hole <laughs> and if it does we got problems right good investment I was given to me. My buddy Bone, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. There nice. We go. Nice fish. That's an eight and a half inch bluegill there. Oh, yeah.
Nice fish, buddy. Don't see the color you're using today. Ooh. I think we showed this on a Winnebago one, but I call it King Tut. It's gold with some stripes and some red eyes. A couple of red and one white spike. Just a combination red white spikes. I like starting up high and working down with the long rods for some reason. The jig down. Slowly lowering it while giving it a couple taps. Just seems to, with that teardrop, it kind of flutters as it's going down. And I think that's what sparks it with that, with that jig. There you that's go. Nice one. That's a nice one. Long Seven, rod fishing. Fish bag. <laughs> Does he only need so many? The old bait puck. The old, yeah. You don't That's have a bait old, puck. Old. Get a bait puck. It's better than dealing with the containers from the bait shops. There you go. Looks like a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Nice. Yeah, that's good in there. Told you. Yep. That's a nice one. Potter strikes again. We're not. <laughs> That one's fun. Mm -hmm. It's not even all that big, but Whoa. nice eight and a quarter inch. Right? Mm -hmm. Nice Billy. <laughs> Should I just move holes right away? <laughs> Drop down and boom. That's why I, I don't spend too much time in one hole. If I don't get a bite pretty much right away, done. Decent one. Told you that's where it's at. Oh, that's right in the roof of his mouth. Holy cow. There we go. I got a rebate. Rebate. Marginal. Marginal. Yep. Seven inch. Yep.